in case you missed it, NAR recently released the ultimate listing launch plan for 2023, and of course, we'll link it here. But basically, it says, once you and your listing clients have met and agreed on a price and listing date, there's a checklist to keep you on track from the listing appointment through the open house. A few highlights include dotting your I's and crossing your T's with your paperwork, decluttering, repairs and improvements, photos, videos, and social posts. But don't take my word, check out the link here. It goes without saying that we can use all the help we can get in this market. So if you are a realtor, take a look. And if you are a lender, share it with your realtor partners. And we'd love to hear your feedback. Okay, a little bit different today because I've been having this conversation. Spring is here right now and, you know, people are doing all their do-it-yourself projects. So if you plan on getting handy this spring and you're not handy, you might want to hire somebody. If you're not going to do that unwaveringly and you're thinking of possibly painting your house yourself, I mean this too because I did it. Seriously, try oil-based paint. It will last at least 10 times as long as water-based paint. Longer if you do this thing the right way. It's the fire and forget approach to outdoor door painting. Oh, and it's safe and it's not toxic. Just do this whole thing right. Here's what you gotta do. First, power wash your house. Clean it up a little bit. Get all the dust off. Two, cut out and replace any dry rot. Now this, of course, if you only have a manageable amount, not if your house is thrashed. That's easy enough to do. Three, back nail or better yet, back screw your siding. It probably needs it and it will add life to the job. Four, add two coats of oil-based primer. This is a big one here. Don't skimp. Five, Five, two coats of oil-based paint. Very important, the painting part, right? Six, caulk the seams, the windows, and the trim with oil-based caulking. Now, you can use color caulking to match the paint on your house. And after that, congratulations, you did done it. Now, I did this to our little beach house six years ago, and it's holding up like a champ. And keep in mind, all that salty, inclement weather out there on the beach, it will destroy siding. But it doesn't destroy it underneath my oil-based primer and paint. Now, the drawbacks. If you get paint on your clothing, congratulations. They're now permanently your painting clothing because this stuff doesn't come off. Two, if you get it on your skin and you're opposed to using WD-40 as a soap replacement, it ain't coming off for a while. Cologne. Smells like WD-40. <laughs> In conclusion, it's, uh, it's as awful as you'd imagine. And lastly, and maybe most importantly, you have to understand you have to roll this stuff. You can't put it in a sprayer. It will clog the sprayer and ruin your sprayer. That's why professional painters won't use oil-based paint. It's not that it's not infinitely better. It's that it will destroy their equipment and it takes too darn long to do if you're just gonna roll it. Now, here's the thing. As I said, it's gonna last 10 times longer and cost you a 10th of the more expensive alternatives. Oh, and it looks great. For a little extra work and a test of your patience, maybe. Oil-based paint reigns king with cost and longevity with exterior paints. I hope this helps. And by the way, share this with your friends and your family and your clients. They're probably doing some spring projects too. And I'm telling you right now, oil-based paint kicks butt. Hey, listen, for those of you that just joined our book club, I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow at 12 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. We've been at this for three years. Sales books for loan officers and real estate agents, how it applies to our business. It's been super, super positive and we're happy to bring in new blood. We'll be finishing up the four agreements tomorrow and we will we'll be talking about a new book and it is book by committee to see what we're going to read. You want to be a part of it. All I ask is you guys show up, fill out the information down below and make sure you show up to our book club, sales books, loan officers. It's networking. You get to meet people all across the country.